Hi guys, and welcome to your October 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Read and Main video for the beautiful sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're subscribed to the tribe, and what's good, fam bams? Hello to my members, my patrons, and my coffee club members. Let's go ahead and shake a tail feather through this. And um, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you, Gemini, um, as we close another month um, of growth and ups and downs. Thank you for all of my day ones. I do appreciate it. As I wind down my energy, there is so much that I need to prepare for you guys tomorrow for November. So thank you for allowing me to breathe through this energy. And if I am talking like I'm in monotone, it's just that I had a long day, but what I lack in the enthusiasm in my voice does not reflect the energy in this reading that I feel for you. So please do not take it that way. Let's get started. So if we can bring some energy across, the very first thing that I want to say is that you guys are in separation. And due to this separation, you are wanting or hoping that you and the person that you're separated from um, kind of um, walks into a new version of yourself and then the higher capacity for the both of you. I think, unfortunately, though, Gemini, you are on the, uh, on the, um, the fence about that. Um, right now, you want to break old patterns and you want to let go. You're in upside down enlightenment. You know that you deserve love, and I don't know whether you're 100% on track with this person giving it to you all right we did have one third eye chakra um, which is about your spiritual awareness and the bonus we also had three major arcana we had empress judgment and the wheel of fortune so be aware of that and then we also have four power words purpose happiness retreats and finally boundaries okay um, that is what we had there. Beautiful energy. I also want to let you know that some additional energies that came out in the pre-shuffle was passion. We also have come to me. Um, we also had unrequited love in the past, as well as the energy of twin flames. Very, very interesting. Um, there has definitely been a separation, but even so, the separation um, still brings so much love. Um, and things that have come out because of it. We do have the star, their hope, healing, and hop optimism, their love for you with the queen of cups. She is not looking down at that cup. She wants to propel it forward, okay? We do have the lovers in the heart place. Your person is definitely calling you down. We also have the empress, which is the birth of something new. This individual definitely wants to start over and we have strength. So if you see, you also, in addition to those major arcana, you had one, two, three, and four right here. We also have the Knight of Wands, which explains that passion. It could be that you didn't trust this individual. You could be crossing with a um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I think that it's more so you're understanding their passion and not really all the way sure whether their um, intent is um, uh, sincere or not, Gemini. We'll leave it that way. And then the Eight of Pentacles, the purpose um, of this person is to be very diligent and diligent about coming to get you back or feeling like they need to come back um, and give you what you need. Maybe it was a lack of commitment, whatever it is, they know that you're it now, Gemini. Okay. When we look at the star that's being clarified by cleanse, release what no longer serves you. There's been a lot of toxicity um, that needs to be released. When we're looking at the queen of cups, um, this is the card of no. I believe that this person knows that you're on the fence about this right now. When we look at the lovers, we're looking at the trust issues. This Knight of Wands energy definitely puts you in an energy where they made you, they made those trust issues come about. The Empress is pregnant, or maybe you do have a child with this person, Gemini. Um, she would like to birth something new, and that is what this person wants to do. A new energy in love or love energy between you two. And there is definitely a child here, okay? 
the strength card is being clarified by a divine protection. So um, as ups and downs of you guys have encountered as much as it has been up and down, um, there's something very spiritual about this connection. And spirit is definitely saying that you guys are divinely connected and protected here. My Knight of Wands wants you to take his hand and trust him. But obviously there are trust issues here and they know that they are aware that you don't want to do that or you have reservations about trusting their vision because that has already happened, right? We also have the energy of proposal. I think that they're trying to do everything in their power because obviously they do want a life with you. You guys could be married already. I don't think that as much, but take it as it resonates. I feel like this person did screw up in a way where they violated your trust, Gemini, and now they want another opportunity to bring this back, okay? Um, obviously, cleanse, no, trust issues, children, divine protection, <clears throat> take my hand, proposal, okay? Let's go ahead and get some patterns. I do think that you're on the fence about this. I really do feel like you are on the fence about this repression. Someone does not express how they truly feel. Gemini, I don't think you said anything. Mom's the word right now. Triggers. Emotional baggage is running the show. Retrain the internal so the external can change. Okay. We also have addictions, physical addictions, emotionally addictive thoughts, or other negative patterns of behavior are affecting this connection. We also have true love, though. This is a divine connection. So now we have our answer as to why this connection was divinely protected. Because maybe there was something that spirit wanted you to see before you left. Okay. We also have the divine feminine. We know that this is a divine connection. They want your forgiveness because it is a liberating choice. We do have dreams. Important dream messages are being given. And then we have rejection. It's not you. So don't reject yourself. Rejection is divine intervention. You know what? It is um, really starting to make sense to me here that it is highly possible that the reason why the separation is here is because of divine protection, divine intervention. Do you understand what I am saying here? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the shuffling here so we can get the angel answers, Gemini. Thank you so much for allowing me to read your energy. Okay. As we close this out, you've already seen a lot of people are already in November. So this is how, this is how it's going to be spilling into November. Some of you guys need to take action. Ooh. Something just popped over. What was that? Aha. Uh -huh. Improving health. Okay. What else do we have, Spirit? The situation will improve. And the top of the deck is reconsider. Okay, we're going to go back in. This person... Um, is definitely coming in. I and I'm gonna definitely highlight in the title that I think that you're on the fence about it because I know that you are because you're in hangman. You really want them to demonstrate that they have broken all of these patterns um, that they have been doing before. You want them to break all of those negative patterns. Whew, that was hard. Show me spirit. There's something better for some of you guys. What else do we have, Spirit? Success for others of you. Okay. We have in the near future. We have romance. And at the top of the deck, take action. So take action has come out twice. Okay. Well, um, they're going to be taking action towards you. Um, you really want them to demonstrate, um, you know, again, new ways of doing things. And I think you love them and you're realizing as you guys are in separation that, you know, there are things that you would like to see change, Gemini. But I think 
them. Right now, it's best for you to just kind of hold off and allow the divine energy to work its magic. You guys eventually will reconcile. But right now, I don't feel like the answer for you is yes. And they know that. They know that Th these two cards together very much speak to me as I love you, but no right now. So whatever it is, take your time. They know that they have made themselves look untrustworthy. So, I mean, that's what we're doing. Like share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Thank you so much for being able to read your energy again and allowing having our Lord and Savior, whomever you pray to, to give us um, strength to go another month and read for you. We are growing. Thank you so much for everyone and your support. This was a big Patreon month. I do appreciate you guys for supporting me um, as we change and go through this new cycle. There's going to be some changes and some of you um, um, are going to be very supportive of that. And I know my real clan will do that. So thank you so much. I am not going anywhere. I'm just saying that we are evolving. I am very excited about this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, although it's going to affect me. Um, but I feel like it is time to let go of old things that no longer serve you. And you guys got this in your reading. So I will see you that night, November the 19th, when we go live and discuss what this is for you. I can't wait to see you. I'll see you then. Bye, Gemini.